Hello everybody. So for today's video, ooh, I'm going to be reviewing the Styled by Harouche palette by Tarte. They teamed up with Harouche to create this palette. Um, I show you more and I get more in depth within the video about it. So there you will learn the opinions and if I like it or not. But this is the look I'm doing today. It's like a fall maroony purple look. I really like it because I love these looks for falls. For fall. Alright, so if you want to see how I did this and what I thought about it, then just keep watching. Okay, so to start this out, as I'm sure I probably already mentioned in the intro, well I know I probably did, I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Styled by Harouche palette by Tarte. Oh, I didn't know there was a cover on it. And this is what it looks like. I know it's probably going to glare, but it's a really pretty, like, fall-inspired, I'm going to guess, sort of palette. Um, so I am just going to jump right in. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But I'm just kind of going to throw myself into this. I don't know if I'm going to use the whole palette or if I'm going to add another palette for de some depth. Because their darkest shade doesn't look super dark, which is right there. Ooh, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to jump so right in. So first, just taking a fluffy brush and taking the shade Vamp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> which is like, I'm guessing their transition shade of the palette. I'm just going to work that into my crease. Ooh, there is a lot of kickback. I had to be able to see that, but as you can see, like it kind of, um, like flaked out. Not flake. That's like a bad word. But wow, there's a lot of kickback. So it might be chalky. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. Just a lot came off. So I'm just gonna work into my crease. Um, it seems to be blending all right. Like, it doesn't seem like that really affected a lot. But I feel like that's just going to waste product. So I'm just going to try and pick up some of that stuff that came off super quick. Uh, but other than that, it's the transition shade starting off pretty well. Okay, so now... <coughs> sorry. I'm going to go in with the darker oh, brown shade. Basically, the only other matte shade, which is Kitty. I'm just gonna see, yeah, that one has a lot of kickback too. So the matte shades, both of them have a lot of, um, or like kick up, I don't know what they call it. Um, but it just has a lot of pigment released when you dip your brush into it. So just fair warning. But I mean, that doesn't affect how they blend out or how they apply or the pigmentation. So, I mean, if you can look past that, I think these are really nice shadows. Alright, so I realized I've been forgetting to say what I'm doing. I've just been working these into the outer V and crease. I'm not doing anything like special with them. I'm just kind of blending them in to get a nice circle around. I'm not taking it all the way in the inner corner, but I am bringing it, bleh, bringing it in a little bit just to create a nice like slightly smoky effect. Alright, so now on to more of the lid shades. I'm going to take Royal, which is like this dark shimmery maroon purple on camera I can see it's picking up definitely more as purple but I'm just gonna take that on my finger and basically pat oh that looks pretty on the finger um I'm just gonna pat that in the center of my lids all right and then for the inner corner I'm just going to take I think bliss and pinch these oh my gosh these two right here their bliss is a lot more shimmery than pinch appears to me to be but um, I guess we'll find out. So I'm just going to mix them on my finger, pretty basic. And do my best to put that in my uh, remaining third that is open on my inner corner. And I think I'm going to add more bliss than pinch because pinch is coming up a little bit too dark. I want the inner corner to have some sort of brightness to it. So I'm definitely going to have to pat in between there just to kind of blend that those two colors. But while they blend together, when they blend together, it actually looks <sighs> very pretty. Okay, so this is about as dark as I can get the outer corner to be. I've layered um, Kitty up quite a bit. I've also been taking, once I apply the shadow, I just take my blending brush and go back in. But I am going to go into the Tartlet palette, and I'm just going to add some of the darker browns, like Dreamer and Multitasker, just to deepen that up even more because I can't seem to get it much darker than that and I want it to be darker than that purple that's in the center of my lid. Okay so I just went ahead and deepened my crease up and then I also just took the lightest shade in the Tartlet palette 
uh, just above the brow bone, but that can probably be done with one of the shades in the Harouche palette. I just had it right there, so I went ahead and did it. So I'm going to, I don't want to use liner, kind of want the eyeshadow to speak for itself, but I am going to take this little liner brush and just do a really thin line of black on my um, lash line so that way the lashes kind of blend better into the eyelid and I'll be right Okay, back. Mick is in here so he might, hey bud, hey buddy, he's going to rip down this sheet, I already know it. Okay, so I just went ahead and put on lashes. <laughs> So for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the palette. Nick, you're going to knock everything down. And I'm just going to take the shade. Well, first I'm going to take Vamp on a fluffy brush. There he is. And I'm just going to run that under my lash line. It's kind of like the transition shade to the darker shade that I'm going to put down. And then I'm just going to take Kitty, which is even darker, and I got some in my eye, and I'm going to put that onto the lash line just with more a more precise brush. So once those are on, I'm going to take some of that sh uh, shade Royal and just pat that on the center of my lid just to kind of match the upper lid. I want this to match the lower lid a little okay, bit. Okay, so then I feel like I'm off center. Ugh. For the inner corner, I'm going to take Smitten right here, if it stops glaring right there, and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner as a highlight. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh, I almost dropped it. That would have been so awesome. Alright, so I'm just going to put some lower lash mascara on, if I can hold the tube correctly. And then, we're going to move on to the other part of the okay. palette. So I went ahead and I contoured. I wanted my look to be very sharp. I want a good contour today. So I feel like that's what Harusha always has, for some reason. Alright, so now we're going to try the blush. I usually never... <laughs> I usually never wear br bl brush. Blush. There we go. So this is going to be new. It looks like a really pretty shade. I believe it's matte. It has like no shimmer in it. So I feel like it's going to be very wearable. Every time I wear blush, I always go overload and I got a lot darker in here. So I'm just going to like dunk it in once and try it. And then we will go on. Ooh. So it has good color payoff. I literally, you guys saw me dunk it in once. I like that. I'm just going to go on for a little more. If you guys want to know the color, it's like a, basically like a nice corally pink. I'm sure that's what they describe it as, but it is super pretty. So if you're looking for a matte blush, I feel like this would be perfect. The best thing about matte blushes is you can just get like a highlighter and a very, um, like not dense brush. Like that's super technical, but... Something like this, where the bristles are very, very spread apart. Take just a tiny bit of highlighter, run that over the blush, and you basically got a shimmery blush. You just don't want to pack on that highlight too much. But this blush is super pretty, and I'm not a fan of blush. I like that it doesn't make me look like a clown, because that's my usual problem. Blending? I can't tell if it's stuck or not, or if that's just like my face. No, it blended really nice. I've just been like stippling it because I feel like that's the best way to get a nice color payoff without sweeping away any powder or foundation. So the blush in this is really nice. Overall, I'm really digging this palette. So it's the blush. If you can even see it, it looks a little intense, not going to lie. But in person, it's not and that then, bad. And of course, we have to have some sort of glow. I'm going to take the glow kit by Anastasia. You can't even see it because it's so bright. And I need a mirror. I'm just going to layer on as many highlighters as I can and see what we come up with. I basically dunk it in all four and then go for right, it. So for this look, since it's like a fall look, I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Vintage. Probably like my all-time favorite fall lipstick next to Vamp by Anastasi, which is honestly like pretty much the same color, to be honest. I don't know. I don't have a lot of variation when it comes to lipsticks in the fall because... Anything dark, I like to wear. Just dark. That's what lipstick shade do you want? Dark. 
Hmm. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna apply this, and then we will be all, all right. done. Oh, let's take this out. <laughs> all right. So this, if it stops doing that, that'd be awesome. This is the finished look. Very folly, maroon, purple. Basically, the best part of fall makeup, to be honest. Um. If you like this video, stay tuned for my next one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall, my opinion on the palette is I really do like it. I think it is good quality. The only issue I would have is, well, like, now my palette already kind of looks gross. Not gross, but, like, used because the fallout when I patted on the mattes with my brush, they had a lot of, like, kickback. I know there's, like, a more technical term for it, but I don't know what it is. They have a lot of, like, fallout, but not when you're applying it, just when you dunk in the brush, a lot of, like, pigment can fall out so I just tried to pick up some of that when I was reapplying the color the blush did not have any issue with that the shimmers even didn't have a lot of kickback so it just must be their matte formula that is more um just like dry but like not in a bad way if that makes sense usually drier formulas don't blend very well or they're chalky and they have like uneven pigment but I think that they blended really nice so just must be within the pan which is not a big deal as long as it applies well and blends well that's all that really matters. And the blush, coming from like the pickiest person with blush because I don't like blush that much, this is very nice. I really like this blush and I will definitely be using it again. All right, so that is the end of this video and here comes Mick. Mick, come here, baby. If he wants to make an appearance, here he is, say hi. Oh, look at how big he got. Remember, you're just a baby. He's all grown up now. Well, actually, he's only like 10 months. All right, I'm just rambling. All right, so I will see you guys out in my next video. Bye.